People always ask this about me, about sharing the songwriting. Like I'm some crazy old fucking Scrooge who lives in the tower, you know, and it's all mine, it's all mine. This is a band where it's about time these fuckers got their finger out. It's not me sharing the songwriting, it's everybody else contributing. So it's not me giving anything away, it's them joining in. You know, I've always wanted to be part of a band in its truest, in the, in, you know, in the true meaning of the word. I used to have to write 30 songs for an album, right, and pick the best 16 for all the B-sides. I wrote 30 songs last year, we've used five. I don't have to work until 2012 for the Olympic start. <laughs> I'm serious. Get on that. I bet you'd love being out of position, wouldn't you? I'm not doing a fucking, not a stroke. I can unequivocally tell you that the word panic never comes into my vocabulary like, at all. It was more like... It was well, three years of leisure. It was more like, this is not really working, is it? No. Well, well, should we take a month off we'll and then talk about off. it in a month? Seriously. <laughs> but we, start, we started off with a bunch of songs that we thought were great. Yeah. Quickly dawned on us that while we were doing them, that they weren't that great. Yeah. Now, the, uh, my whole thing is, it's not working. You know, and there's no point in trying to throw any more shit against the wall there, nothing's yeah. sticking. I'm going on holiday. I invite you all to do the same. So it would be like a month pass and then we'd reconvene. We were written off after standing on the shoulder giants, written off as a nostalgia act that would travel over the world playing stadiums with absolutely nothing new to offer anybody. We had to make a record, not for anybody else other than our fans, you know, because we'd lost them. Not live, we could still sell out Wembley Stadium. But um, we had to make a record that inspired the people that got into us in the first place. And we did. And we also had to... It was the first record we'd made together. And we also had to yeah. learn... It, was, it, was quite, it wasn't scary, There's no, I wasn't going into the studio scared, but it's like, it's a different thing being on stage and going, these are the songs we're going to play and, and they're the parts. I'll see you in the dressing room for a drink, you know. We're all professional musicians and we can do that. Being in the studio, trying to create something from scratch, you don't know how that's gonna work, you know, because some musicians are different animals in the studio than they are on stage. You know, there's a lot of bluff, not, and I don't mean that in a, in, in a derogatory way, you're kind of performing on stage. When you're in a studio, you kind of gotta look each other in the eye and say, I'm not having that, that's shit, oh, that's great, you know. Um, so that was, I used the word difficult, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't like a struggle, but it was kind of, fucking hell, is this going to work? Are we going to be able to make a record together? And it became obvious in about, I don't know, about 20 minutes that it was going to be great.